Okay, so welcome to Julia Con. I hope you guys are having a great conference. Today I'm going to showcase to you guys uh, Turing GLM. Turing GLM is a package that does Bayesian models in a nice and intuitive way. Uh, we do have some uh, packages in R and in Python that you can spa uh, specify models using your formula API. So you can pretty much do something like dependent variable tilde and you do something like independent variable one plus independent variable two and so forth. Uh, notoriously, there's an R package called uh, BRMS or Ariston ARM also. And there is a, a Python package called Bambi. And these are for Stan in R and for PyMC in Python. Now, Julia has one. It's called Turing GLM and you import it using the using statement. So let's import Tur Turing GLM. And for this demo, I'm going to also import CSV and the data frames package. So uh, let's showcase a simple case of linear uh, regression. I have a data set called Kid, I Kid IQ. I'm going to read with the read function from the CSV package. It's uh, the Kid IQ CSV file. I'm going to dump this into a data frame. And this is the data set from a survey of uh, American women and their respective children. Uh, it's from 2007. It has 434 observations, as you can see, 434 observations, and we have four variables. So we do have a kid score, mom's high school, mom, mom IQ, and mom's age. So let's create our first formula object. We use formula equal F equal formula, that's the macro. Uh, let's do a kid score is the dependent variable, and we have mom, we have mom IQ, plus mom high school. Uh, that's our uh, formula. And now we instantiate a, a Turing model using the Turing model. So this is a, a linear model equals Turing model. And we pass as the first position argument, the formula, the formula, and the second argument, our data set or any tables JL compatible uh, data st structure. It also accepts that. And for those who have ever used Turing, you see that this gives us back a Turing model. So that's it. And now we can pretty much sample it like any Turing model. We can do sample our uh, linear model. Let's use nuts as our uh, MCMC uh, algorithm. And also let's do uh, 2000 samples. So our model has just uh, stop it uh, sampling here and as you can see we do have an alpha and intercept and the two betas uh, that's the effects for the coefficients the coefficients for the independent variables are here and also our sigma for our model and by default turing uh, glm when you call turing model the function it's it will use a caution or a normal likelihood but there are other likelihoods that we current uh, support if you go into turing model into the documentation you see that we do have a normal, it's the default. We have a T distribution for you to use a student T as a likelihood. We also have Bernoulli for logistic regression, uh, Poisson for data, for, for count data. And we also have negative binomial for a robust uh, count data regression. So let me showcase uh, now an example with uh, a logistic regression. So let's load the data set Wells. It's a famous data set. It's in also here in my Folder. So let's dump this into a data frame. It has it's a survey with in Bangladesh for 3,020 3, residents in a small area that is suffering from arsenic contamination of groundwater. And there is a variable called switch to see if the family has switched uh, wells. And we also have arsenic, the contaminant uh, concentration in the well, the distance in meters if they belong to an association, community association, and how many years of education the chief of the household has. So let's again instantiate a Turing model. I'm going to call in a formula. So our formula now is the switch as dependent variable. And I'm going to put just distance and arsenic for now. And I call again, uh, I call again uh, a Turing model. So now it's a logistic model. And our data set is the wells, but our model is a Bernoulli model. 
that's our keyword argument to show to tell Turing that the likelihood is a Bernoulli likelihood. As before, we have an instantiated Turing model and we can pretty much sample for that model using NUT. So let's sample for a logistic model. And the model has just sampled. And as you can see, you got an intercept and two betas for each of the, uh, one, one beta for each of the co uh, coefficients for our independent variables. And this is pretty much how you use Turing. Uh, we are, we also, Turing GLM, we also support uh, hierarchical models. For now, only uh, random intercept models. So let me showcase one. I'm going to import a data set called cheese. And it's also here, data frame, and it's a data set. A group of 10 rural and 10 urban raiders has rated four types of cheese, uh, A, B, and C, and D, in two samples. So we have 4 times 20 times 2, we have 106 observations in four variables. So let's create, again, a formula uh, for, for this model with the formula macro. Now, uh, our dependent variable is y, is, is, the, is, is the rating in IK1 uh, from 0 to 100. Now, we do have uh, an intercept for, so one intercept for each cheese variable plus the background as a fixed effect, as a, as a, a independent variable. So, we create this formula. Once again, we instantiate our Turing model with the... Uh, so this is the hierarchical model, and this is Turing model. And we have the F, and it's uh, the cheese data set, and it's a Gaussian linear uh, normal uh, likelihood, so we don't need no uh, keyword arguments here. And as before, uh, this will return a Turing model, and we can uh, pretty much uh, sample from uh, this model. So this is our higher model. And as you can see, uh, we do have uh, random intercepts here. We do have a one beta coefficient, which is our background. And we also have a global intercept here and local intercepts. And we do also support custom priors. Check our documentation at Turing GLM in, in the Turing Lang uh, repo. And I would like to thank the Turing development team, especially Honk, for his support in the development Thank you. Have a great Julia Bye-bye.